Hiya, Chris back with another Fabulous 40 Bush Kids Challenge and today we're looking at this stuff, stinging nettles. Uh, it grows all over the UK um, and it's classified as a weed so people are probably going to thank you for pulling it out of their gardens or uh, from the hedges. Um, now let's just think safety, maybe put some gloves on, uh, use a pair of gardening shears to snip them, save you putting, pulling the root up because we shouldn't be uprooting any plants. Uh, here's one I've snipped already um, and we'll go and see how we can process it down to make some string. So what I've done, I've come back to the table, I've taken the um, leaves off of the stalk. Now what I'm going to do is flatten the stalk by hitting it with a little little stick. I've got a, a little a handy hammer. Taking um, close attention to where you have these little nodes, so these little growth nodes in between. They get quite firm so they might need a little bit more attention. And just do the full length. Being careful not to smash it and really I'm just trying to squash it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is separate it using my thumbnails and get in there and flatten it right out. So you see that? And that's just going to open it up nice and flat all the way along. So now we have one crushed flattened stalk. Now like I said we want to remove the outer bark from this inner pit. And I do that by bending it over and you'll hear that little snap and you'll notice when you start to separate. So I'm going to peel off that inner pit which just leaves us the outer bark and it's the outer bark that we're going to use to make the cordage. So we'll go past the next growth nodes so to here, snap it and peel back just like that and out it comes. Now you might come across the occasional hair still on the uh, um, still on the stem. Um, by the end of it my fingers will be quite tingly. It doesn't hurt. And it just uh, it was part of the experience. So I'm going to work my way along the stem, removing as much of that hard woody pith inside as I can. Now once I've removed all of the pith, uh, the, the, the hard woody substance, um, I'm going to hang it up to dry. Because when you try and make string out of it green, it, it does work, but as it dries it shrinks and shrivels up and any of the twists tend to come undone. Um, and the best way to do it is dry it and then wet it just a little bit, um, which we'll show you in a minute. There we go, starting to get some nice fibres. So once you've removed all your fibres, I've hung these up to dry. Um, you can see they've, they've shrunk a little bit. Um, next we're going to split them down into thinner component fibres. So now my fibres are all dry, I'm going to separate them down. There we go. I'm just going to use this one for now. First thing, to start our string, first thing I need to do is create a little kink, a little twist like that. And to do that, I'm right handed, so to do that I hold on tight with my left hand, and I'm going to do this um, about in the middle of the string, okay, in the middle of the, uh, the bark rather. And I'm going to twist with my right hand, because I'm right handed. And if I keep on twisting, all of a sudden, you'll see it creates that little kink. And what I'm going to do now is with my left hand, pinch the kink there and keep on rolling with my right hand in the same direction. 
Now when it feels tight, like it's about to kink again, I'm now going to bring that over the top of the bottom strand. And now I'm going to repeat on what is now the top strand. And I'll keep on doing that until it starts to get tight. And I'll bring that over the bottom. I'm going to slide my thumb along. I'm going to do a couple of these. And you'll see what happens. So I'm rolling with my right hand, bringing it over the top, rolling with my right hand over the top, and every time I'm sliding my left hand along. And what we're going to end up with is something that should look like that. And if we carry on along the length of this string, we're going to end up with a piece of metal string. So I carried on, and there we go, a nice long piece of metal string now. Now, I've come to almost the end. I could either tie it up in a knot, um, and if you want to learn some knots, check out the Fabulous 40 uh, Top Bushcraft Knots um, Challenge. Um, so I could either knot it, but if I wanted a longer piece, I'm now going to look at how I would add in an extra. So I find another strand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it up, which means just lie those two together, overlap them, and I'm going to treat them as one. So I'm going to twist them just as I was doing before. Oh, that short end's broken. Let's carry on. So I twist them in together. Bring it over the top. Twist it over the top. And carry on as normal. And when I get to another short end, I might, might want to add in another piece. There we go. So we do the same. I'm just going to lay them up. Let's put it on top. So I'm going to lay them up together. Twist it in as normal. So the two get wound round each other. And then I carry on. And once you've done a couple of twists, you almost can't see the join. Let's have a look. So we've added two pieces in here. There we go. Oh, you can see where they've been added in. But afterwards, we'll just trim them off. So this is quite a thin piece of cord. If we wanted to make a longer one, we would use more fibres together. So twist that. And you can see how just having extra fibres in there makes a bigger, thicker, stronger piece of string, depending on what you wanted to use it for. Well, go out, give it a go, um, post your results, show us how you get on, and have fun.